hopefully it'll allow us to build it as well, I guess, on, on the fact that already a quarter of season ticket holders are below the age of yeah. 22. Just yeah. how significant is that? I, listen, I think that's, I think that's um, great news, absolutely great news. I'm not totally certain what the proportion is under the age of 11, but it's a high percentage, and I suggest it's as high as any other uh, Premier League club. So the number of young people, one in four people, or one in four season ticket holders, in Goodison next season under the age of 22, I think has to be great news. And yet, um, you know, in a hard-nosed business sense, we've taken perhaps a bit of a hit on that in respect of you know, a reduction in income from that age group next year. I'm hoping, as I said, we'll get more of them and that'll compensate it. But I think we have, as a responsibility to the football club, to its medium and long-term future, you know, to put uh, put to one side that short-term hit and look, uh, at, at, you know, at future revenue and what that means for the football club and the loyalty and longevity of our uh, young fans is critical to the future of the club. And, you know, again, something we've said for a long time is that we genuinely feel custodians of the football club. It's up to us to nurture it, to grow it, to build loyalty, to grow the Everton fan base. And a critical part of that, the most critical by a long, long way, is for those fans to be able to get into Goodison. And if we can do that at a young age by making our ticket prices affordable, then I think, you know, come the day we hand it on to the next custodians of our football club, we should be in a very, very strong position.